Paige, I spoke to Jason White, a local dentist here in town, who says while opioids are a problem right now for anyone prescribing medications, dentists have made some big strides in the last few years to reduce that in their offices. I think Lubbock is just like any other community in the country, and it's, it's, it's still a problem. The opioid epidemic, a problem many professionals in the medical field are exposed to, even when you step into your dental office. Especially back in the 1980s and the 1990s, where we didn't have a lot of research on the the fact that we were creating a long-term problem. But Jason White, a local dentist, says they're taking the crisis very seriously. When a patient comes in and they are having pain, what do we need to do to limit the misuse and abuse of prescription opioids? He says they have three big standards they have to follow for prescribing opioids. A continuing education, a limit on how many prescriptions they can write, and the Texas Prescription Monitoring Program. It's actually software that's connected to all the pharmacies. We have to go in anytime we're going to write an opioid prescription, put the patient's name in there, and look and see what prescriptions have been written. These efforts are working. White says the number of prescriptions dentists wrote cut in half over time. In 1998, Dentists wrote 15.5 percent of all the opioid prescriptions. In 2012, dentists are only writing six to seven percent of those pres prescriptions. White says the best thing he can do is to keep his patients informed. It's all about us educating our patients. That's the number one priority. And to educate our patients, we have to educate ourselves. White says it's dentists across the U.S. that are taking the lead to try and address and reduce the problem. Paige.